Hello and welcome to the Monday Market Update with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Monday the 18th of June 2018 and the time has just gone 11.25 British summer time. Uh, quick rundown of what's been going on today. Uh, we're seeing uh, European equity markets are lower. A number of factors are going on here. Uh, trade tensions are, are running high between the United States and China. Uh, on Friday we saw Ch the United States uh, announce a new raft of tariffs against China. China retaliated over the weekend, so there's, there's, there's a lot of pressure on global equity markets over fears that the trade war is stepping up. We're not seeing any side back down at the moment, and uh, we're not any closer to an agreement. Uh, so traders are a bit worried about this, so we are seeing stocks in Europe uh, in the red. The German market, the DAX, is also under pressure, given a bit of political uncertainty uh, over in Germany. Um, Angela Merkel is the head of the CDU, the Christian Democratic Union, and their sister party in Bavaria, the CSU, the, the Christian Social Union of Bavaria, are at loggerheads at the moment uh, in relation to immigration policy. And there's some people even saying that this could be this could this this this, this issue could even actually um, put major pressure on Angela Merkel herself. So we're seeing a, a, a bit of a sell-off in the DAX on top of that. Um, looking a look at the major economic and corporate events of the week. Um, looking at the week ahead article, which can be found on the news and analysis section of our website. Of our website. Uh, tomorrow, we have the first quarter figures from Ashted. Um, tomorrow on Wednesday, we have housing data coming out of the United States. Uh, it's about a mixture of um, home building starts, existing home sales, and building permits coming out um, tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, on Wednesday, we uh, the, the Barclay Group, the British home builder, have their full year figures out. On Thursday, we have two updates from central banks. We have the Swiss National Bank, the SNB, and we have the Bank of England, the BOE. Uh, both policies are, are tipped to remain unchanged, uh, but listen now for the, 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 um, any kind of clues or the, the voting breakdown or any kind of clues the Bank of England may give away in the in, in statement or press conference in, in relation to what future monetary policy could be. On Thursday, the OPEC meeting begins, and a few days ago, there was, there was talk OPEC were going to increase the output on a daily basis by 1 million barrels per day. As of this morning, there's now talk that they're, increased. they're looking to increase the production by only between 300,000 and 600,000 barrels per day. So um, it would appear that the, the, the chatter is now uh, that a, a production increase is still on, but it's not going to be as sizable as traders initially expected. So the OPEC meeting begins on Thursday and finishes on Friday. And on Friday, we have the Eurozone flash manufacturing and CPI uh, manufacturing uh, and service numbers coming on. This gives indication of how well the Eurozone economy is doing. Uh, bearing in mind, last week we heard from the, from the, the European Central Bank um, that the bond buying scheme, the policy, is, is will wind down in 2018, the stimulus package that is, uh, but we're not going to have a rate rise from the, bank of, from the European Central Bank until at least the back end of 2019, if we have one in 2019 at all. So, take a look now at a few of the major markets, starting off with the FTSE 100. So, the FTSE 100 has obviously had a decent run from March to May for those two months, and we've, we've pulled back ever, ever so slightly since then, and the last couple of sessions, we have seen a bit of a, bit of a uh, downward pressure, but the upward trend that's, that, that's been in place for you know about three months now is still very much in play. If we hold above this level here, which comes into play at 75.91, it's likely we could see the market retesting 7,800 or up to 7,900. Even if we drift lower, support may come into play at this area here, this, this uh, support area at 7,482. 7, and even below that, support may come into play at this red line here to turn the moving average, which comes into play at 7,441. Taking a look now at what's going on in the Euro market. The share market has also been in a fairly solid upward trend since March. Uh, we obviously had a, 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 a sizable retreat here, and the high of June didn't quite get as high as the high of May, so every so slightly just, just, um, just finished shy of that. We, but we are still above this red line here, the 200 day moving average, which comes to play at 12,776. If you can hold north of that line, of the red line, uh, it's likely that the positive move will continue. And should we continue to press on higher from here? We could be looking at targeting 13,200, and beyond that, we could be looking heading towards 13,400. This area here, notice we saw a bit of consolidation uh, in, in both, both December and January um, in the 13,400 region. And if you go beyond that, we'd be looking up towards 13,600. It's only if you break this level here, the uh, the late May low of 12th of, of um, 
which comes into play at about 12,554, this area here. Could that be actually, could we, could that would be a, be a bit concerned I mean, if the market could be heading back down towards 12,400 or possibly even as low as 12,300. Taking a look at what's going on in the um, in the in the Dow Jones, this year is the US 30 cash, the Dow Jones. So after seeing a the beginning of an upward trend, a connection of higher highs and and, and higher lows on the Dow, we did see the see the market like other global markets pull back uh, in recent sessions. We're still we're not too far away from the three month high, so we're still in the in the, in the upward trend. If we do continue to drift lower in the near term. We could find support at this yellow line here, the 100 day moving average, which comes to play at 24,724. And then, if you even move south of that, we could, support could, could come into play at this red line here, the 200 day moving average, which comes to play at 24,279. Moves to the upside, we could be looking at retesting this, this area here, uh, north in around the 25,340 mark in around here. If you go beyond that, the late, the early March high of 25,507. If we go beyond that, uh, traders will be looking towards the mid of mid February high of 25,821. As I mentioned, uh, there's talk, uh, there's talk that the um, we could see a, a a a smaller than expected increase, uh, smaller than in output from OPEC. There was talk of a production increase of one million barrels per day. There's no talk that that's going to be between, and it's increased, will be will be between 300,000 and 600,000. So we have seen the price of oil bounce back today. So taking a look here at Brent, at a WTI, uh, we can see that we have a, a size of a decent enough move pullback here. If we can hold north of this level here, today's low at 63, spot 58, we could be looking at uh, retesting this yellow line here, the one to moving average, which comes to play at 65, spot 41. No, so I feel a few occasions it acted as a as a support uh, when the market was edging higher. So it may act as resistance uh, as they're pushing higher from here. Beyond that, we could be looking at it towards six seven dollars a barrel, and then beyond that, we could be looking at it towards sixty eight spot fifty nine. If you take off the recent lows here at a 60, 60, 63 spot fifty eight, we could be looking at it back down towards the early April low of sixty one spot seventy eight. Taking a look now, this is a Brent crude oil, so similarish looking chart uh, on, on Brent crude oil. Obviously, had a major down day on Friday, but we have, we have managed to actually pull back a bit, uh, given the, 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 the there's talk. The output is going to be uh, lower than it originally expected. So if we continue to push on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting this blue line here of the 50 day moving average, which comes to play at 75.81. Not on a few occasions, it did manage to act as a support, so it could act as resistance in the near term. A move beyond that could take us up towards 77, this area here, and then beyond that, it could be looking at the, the late May high uh, of 78, spot 98. If you do continue, to, if you take out the recent lows, we could be looking heading back below 72, or perhaps even down towards $71 a barrel itself. Over on the currency markets, we take a look at Euro dollar. Euro dollar has been in a fairly obvious downward trend uh, since, since mid-April. It's been actually quite a, an, an aggressive sell-off. We did have a bounce back here. I couldn't really get a, I couldn't really get a hold hold above eight one spot eighteen eight eight fifty one. While we remain south of this this uh, this area here, it's likely that the, that the the downward trend is going to remain in play. If we continue to push on sort lower from here, we could be looking at testing the uh, the May low of uh, one spot fifteen ten, and if we go below below that, we could be looking at taking us back down towards the one fourteen area. And so we we really would need to take out this high here at one spot eighteen fifty one before we become more confident that the uh, that the up, that the downward trend is being negated, uh, is, is, is coming to an end. If you do manage to push on higher from here, we could be looking heading back up to up, up towards the 50-day moving average, which comes into play in around the, in, the, in around the one spot 1922 mark, and then beyond that up towards 120. And then finally, taking a look at pound US dollar, similar situation here, whereby it's in a fairly obvious downward trend from the, the, since 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 April. Um, the market after after staging a, a bounce back in late May is has been drifting lower yet again. If we continue to, to edge lower from here, we could be looking at, 
at retesting the main low of one spot 3204 and move below that could take us back down towards 131 or even down as low as one spot 3027 move to the upside could encounter resistance at the the recent may high of one spot 3472 and then beyond that traders could look back up towards this 200 moving average this red line here at one spot 3619 well that's all for me this week thank you very much